G'day, today we're going to have a look at level 15 in the Myths and Rails DLC of Train Valley 2. This one's called I Am Poseidon. We have 16 and a half minutes, we have to avoid train crashes, and we can't build more than three bridges. And that one is a tough little challenge. Uh, but let's see how we go. So the first thing that we want to do is just get everyone connected. This guy we're going to run on that. It's a bit of a pain with that balloon there. Parachute. I'm going to run on a tight edge right against the side there. And then I do this with this guy and have him sort of tilt out. And there is a reason for that that you will see a little bit later on. Uh, I have done this one a couple of times, so we are just... I, I do have sort of a, a plan of attack ready to go. So uh, I feel like I missed something. this guy over here. Okay, so what we have is we have two bases here. One up here where we've got no workers. One down here we've got workers. And you can see everyone needs a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and, but a lot of it comes out of here to make uh, appliances and then we also get our um, engineers there and then our building materials come from up here and our copper comes from over here. So the first thing that we want to do here, uh, can we get that guy connected? Yes. First thing that we want to do is just get some quick money because we've just spent all of our money and the way that we're going to do that is by spending $10,000 to get this glass up the hill over there. So once they're on their way, and luckily this guy makes people very quickly. The other thing about this being a water level is you can see that this is giving us warnings that this is going to flood uh, sometime soon. So now what we want to do is start sending people over here. First two people that we're going to send, we want to send in here. Then we've got to wait for some money. As soon as we get it, we're going to get two trains from here. Now in total, oh actually we are going to need a fair bit of copper in this because this guy here does need that as well. And then you can see these are worth big money when I can get these guys arriving. So it is a, a nice early investment getting them moving. Next thing that we're going to do is move two lots of workers. And they're going to come across here. Just got to keep an eye on this second guy. So he's not actually going to get delivered. You can see this can only hold six. So we'll let that guy go in. And this guy, we're going to stop right there. Just basically waiting to, to get the chance to go in. While we've got this brief moment, we're going to send two... I changed my mind. We're going to run this guy up here. We're going to make a little bit of a weird connection there because we've just got that little slant in that was for later. And I'm going to send these two guys there and I'll follow him up with some glass as well. We'll just get another quick uh, money maker of glass. So those two guys in there and then as soon as this guy's gone past we'll send some more workers in there. You can see as well at this point we actually can't deliver anything to there. There's not even a, an entrance point. We're up to four. Five. And we can send that guy in. Okay, we'll send our first lot of workers up the hill here. What we will do is get guys out of here. So this won't start manufacturing anything new until it's completely emptied. So we need to get all of the um, things in there out. So we'll start with him. Then we'll go by the next, the thing that has to travel the next furthest distance, which will be the tires and the engineers. He's gonna go up the hill. Uh, we can send this guy to follow him up the hill, though I've just used all of my uh, trains with that. Turn that guy, and as soon as we get that top train in, get this guy out, and this can just start. We will move. Um, think about this. Yeah, we'll move that along. 
Actually, well, no, we don't have enough people at the moment. We've only got that. So, get him in here just to get this continuing on. Um, won't worry about him just yet. The next thing that we're going to do is get our next set of this down. Because this is going to start to flood in a moment. So, we want to um, just make sure that we've got all of our trains in the right spot. The other thing that we need to do with this electricity is just make sure we're on we're focusing on these uh, bags coming out. I think if I want another one to go across, I think I'm okay. But now we'll just stay with the one. I don't want to have too many trains like spoken for. So that's starting, that's getting this one moving. You just want the first. We basically just want to grab two single sets of building materials because we want one to come down here and blow this up and then we want one to go around there and blow that up. We can only afford to do... Oh no, we can afford to blow both of them up at the moment. Let this guy go. Just make sure that he's uh, going to hit that. He should hit that with six already gone. Okay, so guy number one, which is this guy. As long as Poseidon doesn't appear on us this second... We should be able to get um, this guy's down. So he has to get past those two before Poseidon shows up. And then this guy only has to pass that one. But, um, so let's start with the... Oh, actually, no, I won't start moving anyone else just yet because we're going to have this guy come and uh, this guy go on that way. Good, it looks like our... Um, Guys have made it in time to avoid Poseidon. There he is there. So what we need to do now is we'll just do the join the run from this end. Get this guy to go across here. Uh, then dip down one in. So he can go blow that up. This guy here, what we'll do is just do a nice... Uh, is that how I want that to look? Yeah, that's fine for now. Let's do a nice clean cut across there so he can go up in there and blow that one up. Oh, I want you to go into the water. Now, the other thing that you can do here is he's about to flood all of this and we're going to lose all of this track. So, um, since we know that we've got no trains that are about to operate on it, we can sell it. So we can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, I'd probably save those ones. Then as that floods, hopefully we've... I mean, we've only made about $4,000 doing that, but I have found sometimes that this level is a little bit... Um, sometimes that can be the difference between, <laughs> between winning and losing here. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is now shift these guys out. Um, let's make that a straight line. And we will send this guy up the hill, following that. Then send this guy on after that. Just got to keep an eye on to make sure that that's gone by the time this guy's coming around. Winding down, good. Okay, that's in place. This to head down there. Uh, we will then send these guys over here as well. This water will go back down in a moment, so we don't have to suddenly react and, and use our bridges at this point. Okay, with that guy coming out, we're then going to send these guys along. And what we will do going to connect this here but we can't join that through yet because you can see it's going to cost us 200,000 so I mean we'll be much closer to that once these four guys do arrive but we have to more likely wait till this goes down so we can get guys across and have the electricity working all right there it goes so let's get that down there along there that along there and for this one He's going to be one of our bridges. So we will go the higher point, 
So we will make another thousand back. No, we'll make one fifty uh, five hundred for that rather. We'll put him in like that. So he stays part of the, the connection. We will send while we're waiting for these guys to arrive. We'll send one lot of these guys up the hill there. So we're gonna need that. And we may as well send a set of um glass up the hill as well. Then once they're gone, we will send a whole bunch more guys this way. Okay, first two guys are going to go in here. Last guy is going to go in there. And we do want to get a second uh, set of guys in there, but we won't be able to wait for that to just generate a few more guys so what we'll do instead is we'll send our next lot of that over because no one's going to be using that line uh, until that's maxed out and so we can deliver him and then we'll send this guy after that did I have a shoot there I did cool let's just pause these guys for a second flip him around stop that guy Go, go. Okay, now the next thing that we can do, even if we can't send both straight away, let's get that guy going. It'll be another nice jolt to our money that'll um, basically allow us to get uh, that this pathway through in a moment. As soon as this is done, we want to move him out too, so that those two are just done. Great, okay, so let's check out what we wanted to get done next. Um, once this is cleared out of the way, we'll move some more glass and people in here. Great, that's done. Um, now we expect Poseidon to come sometime soon, so instead of going with the um, steel plates first, this time we're going to go with... Oh, there he is. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just pause him for a moment. I'll let him go on a little bit further. Pause him there. Okay, and what we will do is we'll now flip this around the other way. up to that one allow that to go that way too oh sorry stop it okay so what we'll do is we'll flip that and tell him to go this way and they will go in here so while they're doing that uh we can send more of these guys in to do that same thing because Got to sell those, or can I still sell them? Uh, maybe, yes. A little bit of, I got the bridges at least. Okay, this is where we do a significant change. And I forgot about this in, in terms of where I'm sending this guy. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a bridge in here. Connect that like that. That's bridge number two. And we are going to deconstruct that one there that one there for now but we do want to keep that little bit of road we're gonna run those two like that and then have this guy come in like that we will still use this that's our new clean build because I forgot that that's what I was about to do i.e. build a bridge uh, I think I want to turn that guy around again can I build down there is that gonna be safe I'm not 100% sure I kind of want to wait for the next Jolt up. So let's pause this guy again, flip him around, go down there now. Um, let's make sure we don't have him run into any of the glass or people that are also heading that direction. Send this guy along that same way.
We'll pause these guys to let the um let the these guys go fast past just so we've got more workers already being built. And get this guy out of here so that he's on the move. That on the move, that on the move. We will then create slip lane here. This guy. That guy is going to go up that way. This guy we're going to then put down in here. And put this now built. Although I get this feeling that when you use this one guy, that's it. You don't get any more after the one. So his, his use isn't like that we could use him just to sort of slowly chip away at anything. Alright, that's our last bridge. So that also means that then what we can do is um, get these to arrive there. But we don't have the full 12, so I'm not sure there's any value in sort of getting that to move yet. Because we're going to need 12 anyway. We may as well wait till we've got another load of this done. So, instead, let's um, flip him around so I can actually see the connections that I'm going to need. Uh, let's send one of these guys to go in there then I'm gonna send two of these guys to go in here he should arrive first so that shouldn't shouldn't waste that last guy you're then gonna send uh, I can have I don't think I need to buy anything else so now I can start buying more trains Uh, is there any point in sending another guy over there yet? I don't think there is. Okay, so... About to have the 12 fertilizer. It's, I keep calling it fertilizer, it's building materials. And we can send that home. Sure, that's all gonna go wind down the right way. It is. Oh, make sure this guy goes the right way. Let's just turn him around. Stop him. Put that again. Go, and so he'll get in there and he'll be in there at the right point. Okay, so the next thing that needs to happen is we will send. Alright, we've got Poseidon coming and he is gonna sink all of this. So what I'm going to do quickly is flip him the other way. No, wait. How do I want to do this? I think he might have time to get across. Let's find out. Him, on the other hand, he's not. He's going to have to sit there. But that guy we've got through. Now, the good news about that is it means it gives us another train. Uh, and we can start to ship this stuff about. So um, I won't worry about saving the money now. I think I've good for money. Send this guy up here. We have used all our bridges as well, so something like this I can't just rejoin the stage. Uh, we'll send this guy and this guy. So they'll come in here. And then we will send the 12 of this behind them. Order locomotion. So let's get that. I'm just called it a locomotion. Okay. So with these four guys arriving here, that's it for appliances. We are now done in having our appliances sorted out. The thing that we now need is all of the other stuff, which you can see is going to be... 12 building materials, 24 engineers, 12 um, copper ingots, and six more building supplies. So, well, those six building supplies are sitting right here. So they're they're good to go. That's just going to be everything else that we uh, we need to get working on. So main focus is getting this continuing to move, so that we can have. Um, 
building supplies, we'll rather get those engineers going. So what I'll do is while we're waiting for this to come down, I will send up. Oh, that came out a lot quicker than I expected. Since that's already dropping down, what we will do is turn this guy around. Ah, uh, sorry, we'll turn him around. We need to send him that way anymore. We will build this and we will send this guy straight over. Make that connection. We will send a guy from here over this way too. What we want to see is this go down. It'll be a... Whoa! Almost forgot to build this. Secondly, I didn't want him going that way. Going that way, so let's just turn him around. This guy I'm just going to park back in here. No. No. Yes. I was going to say I'll send him up the hill, but I keep forgetting I've got this guy just sitting here. So we want him out of the way. Okay, and we want that to go straight. Oh, we've got to get that out of there. Perfect timing. So what we can do now is just get that connected like that. Flip this guy around. This guy moving down. Definitely going to have to send some more workers over here because that, that's now slightly offset to... Um, oh no. Yeah, that's not going to make enough money. We've got the guys. Hopefully that's not enough to sink us. And what we also need to do is get guys up this hill into there. So we need... What do we need? 12 more. So we need two lots of guys. That means we're going to need two lots of building supplies to end up in there as well. And this might end up still getting there with the amount of guys that we've got, which is good. Great. So he can now head in. Uh, send some glass up the hill too. I want to use all of our guys because we do want to move this. Now, one of the things that I was getting stuck with in this, and I'll openly admit it, that it baffled me. So thank you to Ted uh, in my comments where I was just talking about this level with him, where I was now looking at this like, well, that's full, so I can't send any more oil there. And he rightly pointed out that like in many other levels, and I think like I just did down here with workers, um, you can you can just dump more guys in there. Like that's not a deal breaker here. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so thank you for pointing that out. Uh, this guy now I'm going to send this way. He is just going to go arrive here. This guy I'm going to send the same direction. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I want to leave this open to allow my next group of guys to get over there and start this six. Um, cooking and then probably means that I was it was a mistake to send them next because I do want to send all right let's stop him for a second so you are heading up the hill you're going to the right place you are heading in there you are gonna go this way up in here 12 of you need to wait until this guy is done. Once he's got his set, then uh, we can deliver you. With this guy going past, we can move our appliances over here. All right, so we want them out of there sooner than this guy gets around that corner to reach that point. You were headed in there, yep. Okay. So we're gonna we'll pause him for a second, let him go. Yep, in time. Uh, we want these guys to just skip along one more and go in there. We then will send one of these. Go this way. Am I sure about that? I'm not sure about that because I want this guy to go that way. Stop him and turn him around. He's going to go that way. Uh, possibly I want to send two of those trains. So this guy will get heading up there. 
because I know Poseidon could pop up at any point here too and block us off, so we don't want to run out of time. So I'll get the two of them coming down here. He's going to swing up to there. Uh, and we just need that to hit 12. We're done. So in fact, he doesn't even need to go up there. They're set. But I just need that guy basically out of the way. This guy can come down here. Get delivered. Um, this guy we probably want to get rid of quick because we don't want him. Let's just pause that guy for a second. Him. We'll get this guy in good. Our slip lane means that he's off the, the sort of like the part where he's going to be in the way very quickly. And then this guy is out of the way there. That. Let him around. Okay. So. The other thing that we need to do now is get this moving over here. So I'm going to... Let's need a train to arrive. Actually, let's let this guy go through then. So many trains are momentarily away from arriving. Let's pause that guy for a second because we want this cooking. We'll send... Just for good measure, I'm going to send two lots of guys just because that bridge is going to go and it becomes a long distance journey. They have to keep going. We've got another train that allows us to send this guy. What I'm going to do is... Just allow this guy to get off the tracks. Basically, we're just going to get him out of the way. Now we've probably got enough trains that are not really needed. So let's just pause him there. Alright, you're good to go. Uh, you are good to go. I believe you're already moving. That's all good. Uh, so engineers-wise, he's done. This is all of that done. So that guy's finished. Then what we need is six engineers that are here along with the 12 bags that are there. How long have we got? We've got three minutes. So we're doing pretty well for time. No one is going to have to come across this bridge again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this guy out Stop them, because we don't want any crashes. Send him now. Send this guy. So basically what he's going to be doing is just sitting here waiting to go in there. Because I'm going to have to move these guys out as quick as I can. To get this all sort of in play. Sorry, keep going too. I would like to send this guy home. Because he can land in there. So let's send him. I've just got to be careful because... Poseidon shows up, he's going to flood that. We don't want this guy... No, there's Poseidon right now, so let's just pause that guy. Like I said, nothing else needs to come over here, so this guy's not really in the way there. Okay. So. This guy. We've got to move these guys down here just to be waiting. Send him in there, and then we'll send this guy in there. Basically, this guy is at capacity already, but what we're doing is... Um, actually, no, I haven't... Um, so what we're doing is getting rid of the train. So I haven't cleared uh, the path yet. Like, oh, yeah, this guy hasn't started yet. And so we want to make sure that this guy's started doing his thing before we, um, we send anyone. And we're just getting these guys closer. That's the, the goal of those two. So that guy's out of the way. This guy... We can get him out of the way pretty quick. So let's pause this guy there and pause him there. Oh, I don't know how long that train is, so that was a bit excruciating. I've accidentally overshot my connection, but what we'll do is we'll just make a new connection for him. So he's out of the way. This guy just needs to be out of way. So does that guy. So similar to this guy down here. 
Let's move him further along. This guy out. We can send that. That guy started. Send this guy into the electricity. We'll park two of these there. Now all we're waiting for is this. Speed that up slightly. Pause, we'll just make sure this is gonna to go to the right spot. Send him. goes then we can say go for this guy he's going to the right spot this guy got it here we go oh, that's a good one nice challenge that one all right let's see how we stack up real time yeah it sounds believable game time yeah sort of in the middle i guess and uh fun's moderate as well but a win is a win with that one any questions or comments, feel free to check them below. But until next time, catch you later. See ya.